Hello, I'm Volker Musa from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to address a lateral meniscus oblique radial tear, or so-called Elmort tear. Ideal patients for this procedure is your typical ACL patient that has an additional soft tissue Elmort tear. This will happen in about 15% of your ACL, so don't miss it. My preference to repair an Elmort tear is the Fast Fix Flex because it's an all inside device that is flexible enough to reach both the medial and lateral portion of this tear. So in your typical ACL tear, commonly you have a lateral meniscus root tear. If the root isn't completely off, but like in this particular uh, case here, uh, there's still a soft tissue component on the lateral root. Uh, it's a so-called Elmore tear or lateral meniscus oblique radial split tear. And so these are very important to treat. This is not just a uh, little small tear that you may resect here. This warrants fixation. Now, you can see if you follow the trajectory of my portal here. So here's your ACL, which in most of these cases, the ACL will be torn. In your treatment of an Elmore tear, you will not have an ACL. Here's the lateral condyle, there's the lateral plateau, this is the anterior root of the lateral meniscus. Here's the posterior root. If you look at the trajectory of your standard viewing portal, you will not get good exposure um, for your repair. So either you prepare a low lateral portal, which is what I'm doing, or you can switch portals. You create a low anterior lateral portal over the anterior root like so. Then you have great access right to the meniscus. So this is a very nice tool, but this will enable you not only to deliver a fast fix to the spot, but in some instances you can also retract the meniscus. If I want to go underneath the meniscus, I can do this. In this case I'm going to go on the upper surface, here and here. So before I commit to introducing the fast fix, I'll assess if I can reach both sides and I usually start with the one that's a bit harder. Straight posterior from you and very slightly uh, medial is the popliteal artery. When you insert this fast fix, pick your spot and go for it. Don't make five holes in here because every one of them may be a stress riser. So you pick one spot, you poke through it, but then tread lightly as you push through you don't have to massively create force and push all the way back to the artery. With your middle and index finger, you hold on the gray part here to give counter. And then with your thumb, you slide down the orange part, like so. And so now the first T is passed. And then for your second T, You're going on the soft tissue part of the root here. And again, you, you push through. Again, mind your trajectory. I put tension on my suture. I slide the knot pusher down. I go straight onto the knot. And the key would be to just take the slack out, but don't over tension it. Do not over tension. So slack is out, that is it. That's all you need to do. And now I hold tension on my suture and cut. And that's it. For the post-operative rehabilitation, I will slow down the usual ACL rehab by adding crutches for a total of four weeks with partial weight bearing and zero to 60 degrees range of motion. After four weeks, it's the standard ACL protocol.